Hey everyone, Sean Smith here with Dedicated Financial GBC in Roseville, Minnesota. I'm the founder and CEO here with my good friend Devron Gibbons from the Revenue Based Finance Coalition. Devron, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Debron and I just had some lunch uh, at one of my favorite restaurants here in Minnesota, but one thing I noticed is that uh, I don't know if you were ready for this cold up here in Minnesota. Nobody's ready for this cold. It was <laughs> very cold today, but we had a phenomenal lunch at a great place, so it, and I'm really enjoying it and know more about you and dedicated. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for traveling up here. I think it's about 15 below, not including wind chill right now, so it is definitely cold. But, uh, you know, that's why we say it's great that we do, we have a call center because what else do we have to do for half the year but stay inside and <laughs> make calls, send emails and texts. So. Makes sense, makes sense. Debra and I work together. Debra uh, is the CEO of the Revenue Based Finance Coalition. And, you know, Debra, again, welcome to the show. If you could just give uh, folks maybe uh, your background and how you ended up at the RBFC. So, um, I'm from Florida, born and raised. Um, I call myself a lifelong learner. I've been uh, a, a master's degree in public administration, undergraduate degree in political science, a public uh, master's in public policy uh, from a short course at Harvard University, and then um, a master's in business administration from FAMU, uh, Florida A&M University, and then a law degree from Florida A&M Law School. So you really don't like education, no, I can tell I, you. Just I, I hated it. Staunchly yeah. against education. I grew up in an environment where we, um, it wasn't the best neighborhood and it wasn't, um, uh, the, it was a good environment because both of my parents were very active in my life. Um, but I grew up around a lot of people who were really pushing me to make sure um, that, that I got all the education as possible. My, my grandfather was an educator and my mother's an educator. Um, and so, um, they really pushed me to make sure that education was a priority for me. Um, I went, I was a, a city administrator uh, in, 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 in Mayor David Fisher's administration in St. Petersburg. Worked for Senator Ted Kennedy, worked for Governor Jeb Bush in one of his administrations, uh, and, and one of his agencies in his administration. And then um, started my own company, uh, was at Holland at night. So um, I was in the lobbying field for years. Um, and and then I went in house with a client that was a um, what what people call payday in Florida. We call it deferred presentment. And um, for 20 years, worked at M Scott Financial, and and then uh, I was looking for a new challenge. Um, and here I am. And here you are. And, and like I said at lunch, a new challenge you have definitely found. Uh, as I've been active in the group and, and the industry as a whole. Uh, he is uh, making a lot of moves, which is a good thing. I think it needs to, but um, I think that it's a good lead-in, though, to uh, maybe uh, giving everyone a little bit more insight to what is the Revenue-Based Finance Coalition and, and uh, what, what is it up to, what is, it, what is its function, what is it doing? The Revenue-Based Finance Coalition is a collection of companies across the United States that um, really fund companies and small businesses and businesses um, uh, any type of business um, based upon their future receivables and we really take a really good look at the look back of what they've made over the past 90 days and what they have in the bank and it is access to capital in a very quick and decent manner and why do I say decent because there are hard money lenders and other folks that the collection practices are not like dedicated right and so um, and it also it keeps you from having to let your family members and other folks in the community know what and how you are um, utilizing your dollars to help you grow and expand your businesses and opportunities that come forth. You know, one thing that I'd like to just get on the record for most people is that there's a big misconception that the people that come to these companies are in need or are desperate to get funding. And that's not the case. What I've found on my tours around the United States thus far and dealing with companies is that these are very savvy business people who have great credit but like the access to capital fast. They may have gotten an Amazon contract and need to ramp up their company or a business opportunity they need to take care of or get into right at the moment and they can't wait 90 to 100 days like that, with, that a yeah. bank would require them. Or even weeks. Or weeks. Um, and so, um, I think if you define as we are 
um, convenient um, access to capital for, for any size business, if I would have to define our VFC. Yeah, I would agree with you, and I think one of the other things I, I love about the funders and RBFC and, and in general where fintech has gone is the fact that it removes a lot of barriers to getting capital because they are looking at uh, your bank statements. They're saying, what do you have coming in? What do you have going on? And what can you do? And then they're funding you based on that. Sure. They're not funding where you're at in town or what your ethnicity exactly. is or anything like that. It's really based, it's, it's strictly on what you can do and you know I, I you know we we work with merchants all day long you see merchants who maybe they're a big restaurant they have a big event going on this weekend and they have their entire you know fridge go down or or their major you know their their stove or their ac unit on top of their restaurant right yeah. and so it is imperative this gets done now they don't have weeks to wait for 30 grand to get a lease or a bank loan they need it right now and it can be in a matter of hours, it can be in a day, they can have those funds, and that's... So you bring up two, two excellent points, John, is um, one is that uh, this is based, on, there is a system um, to actually quantify and actually look at how loans are given. So, you know, while banks have their models, our companies have their models too, and it's, it's definitely, it, it, we are FinTech, most of the companies, I would say mostly all of them, um, but there's definitely a model for us to be able to actually get um, financing out to folks um, that is based upon real things. The other thing is it's anonymous. So um, I would venture to say between 30 and 40 percent of the folks that uh, receive financing from our companies are minority companies, mm -hmm. um, which are WMBE companies. Um, and, and, we, and we really pride ourselves on being not, on making sure that folks are anonymous so that when we do a look back or whenever we have to look back, we can honestly say that it didn't matter where your business was located. It was truly based upon um, the things that were in front of us to make a good business decision about um, where, how we um, finance. And so one of the interesting things that, that I'm excited about coming up here is uh, the RBFC is a major contributor to a conference that's in its second year. Uh, you know, uh, COVID made that a little challenging uh, and has, but uh, it's the Funders Forum, which is going to be down at the Diplomat in uh, Hollywood, Florida, basically Fort Lauderdale. And uh, I'm just wondering if uh, you could tell people a little bit more about the Funders Forum and, you know, the, what, what, what's value about it for them. Our, our objective with Funders Forum um, is to create an environment in which um, every part of our industry can come, not only be challenged and learn, but also how we can shape and mold the industry to become better as an industry. So we'll have panels from everything from regulatory um, right down to you know FinTech, um, how do we get FinTech models uh, out and utilize them more effectively collections practices. Um, it, 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 I mean, whatever is in our industry, we want to do it right, clean, and do it the best. And this, we believe, will be the premier conference for um, financing and opportunities um, nationally. And, and we want to be the leader. And so, I mean, look, we have Kevin O'Leary coming. Mm -hmm. um, we have an invite out to the governor of the state of Florida to come. Um, there's going to be some very great speakers at this conference and we believe that long term this will be the place where if you are wanting to be involved in the industry in any way, shape or form from the legal aspect, regulatory aspect or even just a member, this is where you're going to want to come to. Um, and it also will be one, the place long term we believe that um, folks who want to be in our industry as an actor or a player whether, no matter what part of that industry it is, our industry it is, that they'll be coming to us um, or coming to the funders for them to figure out what we do. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I, I love the speakers that we have set up uh, for the conference. I'm also excited about the fact that, well, the networking aspect, there's a lot of it that's driven towards brokers within the industry, but uh, it's really focused on bringing people up to speed, what's going on at a state and federal level, 
Um, but then also bringing in speakers like Kevin O'Leary, adding that additional value, or doing a sunset cruise and maybe yeah. having some fun with it. Um, so looks to be a great event. If you're in the FinTech space, I highly suggest checking it out. Uh, early March, go to the fundersforum.com. Uh, yeah. And uh, we'd the, love to have you register. Yeah, if you're just a, a small business and, and you're in our industry, whether it's one person or five people, we'd love to have you. Um, everybody and anybody can add value and can, I think we'll learn a lot and have a very good time at our conference. So we welcome all. Yeah, and really be up to speed on what's going on in the industry. And you, know, you can always tell that events can be good but when you look at how many sponsors are jumping on board. And I mean, the the sponsorship, the sponsors that are coming in uh, for this thing, I mean, I, I was surprised at just how fast sponsors yeah. are signing up. And they're obviously going to be bringing their folks. So we have over 30 sponsors already. So it, it really is taking off and it's doing well. And look, I'm here in negative 15 degree weather. I'm sure you would like to be in Florida. Mm -hmm. where it's nice and sunny and hot and on a beach as opposed to Minnesota or New York mm -hmm. <laughs> in the winter top. Well, you didn't, you, you, you know, didn't have to twist my arm to be in Florida <laughs> and uh, any time in the winter from Minnesota. Yeah. Like, oh, Chuck, sorry, fam and team. I've got to go work. That's going to be very difficult. <laughs> but, uh, you know, yeah, I, I'm excited about that. And, and, you know, I think in general, if you're in the fintech, sp fintech space, you're working commercial, you need to be looking at groups like the RBFC and looking at the value they're they're bringing in general. You know, well again, state and federal updates to networking opportunities to, um, you know, even just having stronger connections in the C-suite, uh, general counsel throughout the industry. You know, things like that. It, it's it, there's just a lot of value there. So we'll put down in the in the description Devron's contact information. So if you're interested in being a member of the RBFC. Make sure to reach out to Devron and uh, get a time scheduled. Um, I literally, every uh, member company that I know of that's signed up is, is still a member because it's continued to add value. And with you on board, you've, you're excited to expand that value. And we've got some pretty cool things coming up, I think, like the Funders Forum we as well. And we're thankful for people like you being members. We appreciate it. It's a, it's a mutually beneficial yeah. deal. So. But we like to add these things a little bit of fun. So. What would one thing that most people wouldn't know about you? The the non the non attorney answer. Mm. The fun answer. Oh, that my that my safe place or my happy place is um, I cook for my family and mm. there's about I have a huge family and so once a month um, before the pandemic and we'll start soon I guess back up again I would have probably. 100 people sit at my home and I would cook for all of them. Um, I didn't eat it, but I cooked it for mm -hmm. everyone and, and uh, we have a big family uh, meal on every first Sunday. So I like to cook. Um, uh, I like to cook all types of things and so we have a theme probably every Sunday and first Sunday and uh, that's kind of my deal. I like to cook things, but I don't usually eat them. I just like to cook for other people. See, I'm the exact opposite. I hate cooking, but I love eating other people's food. So, you know, I think next time I'm down to St. Pete's, I should just hop in on a Sunday. Anytime. Be one of the family. It sounds love, like a lively event. We would love to have you. Some Sundays I smoke uh, meat. Some Sundays I make a soul food dinner. Some Sundays, you know, we do a, a, a French theme. So it just depends on what the theme is for that day. I don't, I don't bake at all. So. Um, somebody else usually brings the baked goods or, or well, it's something we have in common because I don't bake either. <laughs> Not only do I cook, I don't bake. Um, I just eat. I'm really good at that that aspect of it. But uh, again, Darrell, thanks for flying up here, and, and, and especially in the middle of winter, it takes a special person to be willing to do that in general. But it speaks to the value that you want to add to the, the members of the RBFC and really uh, to the fintech space and, and for people who you know are. Um, funding, uh, you know, future revenue uh, things uh, is the way the members are, so. Uh, and, and the only thing I would add to that, um, Sean, is thank you for having me, um, number one. But the value of the RBFC is just what you and I are doing. It's the members. You mm -hmm. guys are the most important thing. And um, I'm gonna try to get around and meet every member to see how we can change, um, be progressive in everything that we do and uh, move our industry forward in a positive manner. So thank you.
I'm sure they'll appreciate that. So thank you. And thank you guys for tuning in. And again, we continue to get so much positive feedback. So I'm doing feedback on doing these on a weekly basis. And so if you're interested in being on the show, please send me a DM. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. We really appreciate that stuff. Thank you again to everyone for coming. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. And as always, God bless.